you were in the vicinity of All Road on the night of 13th, right? That might have been. About 9 o'clock, wasn't it? Maybe. Come on, you've been eyeing the place up for weeks, haven't you? Perhaps. You went there specifically to meet Freddie Parker and do this job, didn't you? I might have done. You were with him, weren't you? I was not. Yes, you were. I wasn't. Yes, you were. I wasn't. Oh, yes, you were. Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Dr. Barber, pathologist, Mr. Morgan, observing. <clears throat> right. Subject, 41, male. Cause of death to be established. Making incision at <laughs> st... <laughs> It's just the uh, gastric juices and pockets of air finding a way out. It's, uh, <laughs> it usually happens. Yeah. Now, making incision... <laughs> the... What the hell? Oh, oh God almighty. <laughs> it's, um, it's just the same thing, really. Perfect, perfectly natural. <laughs> now, um, if you lean over, you get a better view here as I make this incision into... Oh, God, God! Get down, get down, get down! That's just the old nerve endings giving a bit of a final twitch there. Yes, again, very, very normal indeed. <clears throat> Making incision into... Oh, my God, it's... It's... <laughs> it's moving, man! Yes, yes, it's just a reflex, actually. <laughs> it's, it's making a cup of tea! <laughs> I remember, it really did shock me the first time I saw it. <laughs> Who are you? Get over here, you dead bugger. You'd be surprised just how often this actually happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Oi, are you dead? Get back over here! It's playing the bloody party song! <laughs> Dr. Spencer, sorry to keep you waiting. Yes, they do some amazing things. It's the uh, neurological system. Takes a while to settle down. You, you're dead. Get back on your trolley. Go on. <laughs> I'm going to call my rabbit Starsky, right? Because when I get him out, I'm going to put him in Hutch. Starsky in Hutch, I'm going to call my rabbit Stu. Because I think it's a really nice name. <laughs> Hi, girl. Go on, mate. <sighs> hey. You never guess who I just saw down the shops. Do you remember Martin? Um, um, Broad Martin. Yeah, Broad Martin with a quiff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From Luton. From Edinburgh. <laughs> you know. Oi, come here and say that, Martin. What you mean? Get a load of that, darling! <laughs> Martin, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Martin. With the girlfriend in Rill. With the boyfriend in Bedford. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Martin. Ah. You mean. <laughs> Martin. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Martin. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know that, Martin, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> what about him? He's still around. <laughs> I love coming down to Costa del Sol for me holidays. There's always that small element that spoils it for everybody else. Bloody Spanish. <laughs> Sucking no good low lives that defile the good earth. I bid you a warm welcome to Praise the Prophets. Where today, Brother Jeremiah is full of the big guy's joy. I am full of the big guy's joy. Hallelujah! And I want to testify. Testify, brother. Why, last night, Brother Nathan, 
I had a special visitor appear to me in a vision. And that special visitor, brother, did he happen to be? That's right, our buddy from Bethlehem. <laughs> and tell me, brother, this special visitor, did he have a special message for you and all the other drowning rats in the sewer of life? <laughs> Strangely enough, yes. <laughs> he said unto me, Jeremiah, did you know that six out of ten of my flock are plagued by the purgatory of piles? <laughs> by the grapes of wrath. <laughs> Blinded by the bumberries of Beelzebub. <laughs> Cursed by the burning beer and burger blistered bottoms of Babylon. <laughs> and you deserve it for your satanical sedentary ways. <laughs> but he, in his infinite wisdom, has decided there is no need for his people to be cast into the internal flames of the burning ring of fire. <laughs> did he give you the answer, brother? Yes, he did. He said he used a preparation period. <laughs> Guaranteed to exorcise Satan from your basement. <laughs> and tell me, brother, how much does the big guy charge for this preparation purity? <laughs> Speak not of the demon greenback, Brother Nathan. For the big guy has no cares for his wondrous works. Forgive me my woeful hemorrhoidal ignorance, brother. <laughs> it is my mission to send a tube of preparation purity absolutely free of charge to any viewer who writes in to please the prophets. <laughs> Just send $100 post and packaging. <laughs> Call 1-800-PROFITS, all major credit cards accepted. Pick up the phone, we won't keep you dangling. Yes, go! Get thee behind my behind, Satan! <laughs> Come on, lad, stop mucking about. A joke's a joke, but just give me my bloody overalls back, would you? <laughs> Steve. Frank. Steve. Frank. Steve. Frank. Go. Handsome. A large portion. Yes. Excuse me. This isn't the hospital. Queen, please. Salted. Mars bars. Salted. Peanuts. Salted. <laughs> no, no. You go down right. Then you swing her there. Chuck another oi, right. Oi, game 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 Foul dough, on your toes, push off, shove off, piss off. Right. <laughs> right, Frank, melt it. I'm gonna bloody melt it. <laughs> Melted it! <laughs> Do it, Sam, melt it! <laughs> Blind. <laughs> Bill Doe. <laughs> you stitch me up like a kipper, right? For I'm gutted. Oi, oi! Hi, Salted. Love it to death. 
Well, well tasty. Nice bit of double lovely there. Would you like anything to eat? A large portion, yes! I think the kitchen can do you a toasted sandwich. Handsome. Can the be all right? Yeah, but we want them... Melted! <laughs> Gluck. Slater. Slater. Gluck. Excuse me. Can we go to the hospital now? Yeah, all right. You know there's £145.90 on the clock now, don't you, darling? <laughs> You know that half four night, I'll melt it off the tree. <laughs> oh, and paces it and then he takes it off Dixon's leg. And he's running circles round him. And there's just two more to be. He goes one way, he goes the other. And he threw the both of them towards the chance to go where only Vinnie Jones to be. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I wonder if you'd uh, mind answering a few questions. Yeah, OK. Right. Are you sexually active? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Do you find me physically attractive? <laughs> no. If you did go to bed with me, what sexual position would you prefer? I wouldn't. Is it worth a try? <laughs> <laughs> I've been living there for about five years, but I still feel as if I haven't finished decorating. <laughs> but it looks lovely. I can't imagine what else there is to do. <laughs> Should we tell him yet? No, no, let it go on a bit longer. OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, Norman? Yeah? <laughs> would you like to borrow a pen from my inside jacket pocket? <laughs> Hey, Cal, <laughs> do you want to borrow a handkerchief? I've got one in the top pocket of my jacket. <laughs> oh, yes, I would. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> so, girls, uh, <clears throat> what do you think of my jacket, then? It's very nice. Yeah, great. <laughs> so, so you like the jacket, then? <laughs> yes, we said. <laughs> what about mine, man? Do yes, you like my jacket? and yours. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? All right, all right, all right. I'll you. <laughs> We're wearing each other's jackets. It's not mine at all. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> do you like my tie? <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. It's not mine, it's his. <laughs> Have you swapped anything else? Yeah. Shoes. <coughs> We're not even the same size. <laughs> They're crippling me. <laughs> yes, well, we've swapped some things as well. Oh, it's great fun, isn't it, eh? Yes, we've swapped stories about your pathetic performances in bed. Hey. <laughs> so what do you think about that? Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> and floppy. <laughs> and if you're not careful, we'll swap boyfriends. Yeah, next time I can be speedy. <laughs> Darling, this is wonderful. You better pinch me to make sure I'm not dreaming. I have something to teach the women of the world. So listen and learn the language of love. Sie 
These are the things a Frenchman needs to teach the language of love. Sham good looks, a pound of tripe, and a pair of surgical gloves. When a woman's lips are close to mine, she smells my garlic stench. And though her bliss cause when we kiss, it's also very French. The Gallic flair just can't beat the savoir faire. The lingering hand on the derriere. <laughs> the language of love. I'm a lover who loves lots of loving. Madly making love makes me love oh so much more. <laughs> a lovely lady love lots of long loving. And she says she shares by the seashore. The ladies love the Gallic flair. You just can't beat the savoir faire. Another hand on the derriere. <laughs> so you just love. Ladies need the just go weak. Their hearts, they melt away. In an embrace, their hips displace when they hear a Frenchman say. Où est le chat? Où est le chat? Il est sur le tapis. Mon nez est très magnifique. Je suis un grand I love to love the lady with lips so moist and pink. Her eyes meet the corset crowded room and she gives me a wink. know what we want and we know how to get it yeah we don't just stick any fish in our pond no these fish are ornamental yeah that one's orny this one's mental <laughs> hello Billy hello Johnny hello, hello everyone, everyone. Today, I went to the shop. I went to the shop and I bought an atom. <laughs> an atom? How lovely. Yes, it's very lovely, but it's very, very small. <laughs> Did you only buy one atom, Billy? Yes, it was the last atom in the shop. <laughs> That's a shame, cos I'd like an atom too. Well, seeing you're my best friend, Johnny, I'll share it with you. <laughs> Let's split it, eh? It's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ian Palmer. Ah, the honeymoon is. That's right. Sign here, please. Oh, thank you. And there's a parcel for you, sir. Oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, have a wonderful day from Steve and all the boys at the rugby club. Oh. <laughs> That's a condom dog. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy your dinner, Mrs. Mm, Palmer? That's for pudding. Yes.
Yes, we did, Steve. Very funny. <laughs> snakes? What snakes? Steve? Steve! Don't worry, darling. It's all over now. Look, I had a really good breakfast. I'm going to start the honeymoon proper, OK? Attention, everyone. I have an important announcement to make. Steve. You may not know, but the couple in the corner are Ian and Jenny, who are on their honeymoon. Aww. And Ian is a virgin. <laughs> Yes, I am. Ian is a virgin. Ian, Ian, Ian is a virgin. That is stuff, love. Let's check out. Package arrived for you, sir. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Steve! Steve! I didn't do it.